We've got a big day today. We finally got our electricals. So we're ready to lay it. So what's really cool about this entire system, it's, uh, it's CMS system and it's basically plug and play. They're double pole um, points which you need, to, you can't just use a standard house uh, power point, general power outlet, GPO um, in a bus, it, it needs to be double pole. Um, so that's what this is, but what's fantastic about these is the leads, you, just, you don't just buy a hundred meters of lead and have to get an electrician to plug into it. Or, or to wire it all up. These are literally plug and play. So you just get the right end into the right piece, clip that into there, and that's it. And you just, you go from one, from your power source, which will be here on the floor, obviously. So this will just plug straight into there. And then we go the first power point, and then um, put another lead onto there, maybe a meter and a half or three meters or whatever it is. And you just daisy chain power point to power point to power point, go all the way around the bus, and it can all be done by yourself. You don't need uh, any uh, electrician or any qualified tradesman to do it. Uh, it also comes with adapters for if you need to split uh, to go two ways. So let's, you, let's say you want something on the right and something on the left of the bus. You can just put one of these on, so that will plug into there, and then you can have two points coming out of it. So you can split split off and have one lead going left and one going right, and then another one for a triple. So they're pretty cool. Uh, little, uh, I wouldn't even say they're more expensive. I think the entire bus cost us about seven hundred dollars, but we've got I think twenty two power points we're putting through the place, so we're not being shy with it. Um, and you can see these are all the power leads. The power leads themselves run from about, I think they're six or seven dollars for a half metre one up to about thirty odd dollars for a five and a half metre one is the longest one that we've got. So we're putting all this aluminium in um, around or above the engine bay. Uh, within the 50 mil cavity of the box section steel that's there. Uh, we put the aluminium in the bottom, we seal it all the way around for waterproofing and for smoke uh, protection as well if there were a fire in the engine. Then we fill the cavity, the 50 mil cavity, with uh, essentially roofing insulation which is uh, fire retardant as well, so that uh, if there were ever a fire in the engine bay, uh, we'd have a much better opportunity to get it out before it got into the motorhome. It's about time uh, to start cutting the ply. So this is the ply for the floor. We've gone for a hardwood ply. After initially looking at a pine ply, I've decided the hardwood ply is a better option. So we took it back and, and uh, exchanged it for this. More dense and uh, more durable as well. So happy to go with that. Let's get this ply in there. Woo, timber time. <laughs> oh, I smell trees. Instead of welding, woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Alrighty, so finally, we're getting onto something more exciting like painting my floors. <laughs> we're actually waterproofing, so Dan's um, got some Boncrete in the truck, which he'll tell you why we've decided to use that. But basically, I'm just happy because I'm painting and smelling timber. <laughs> Essentially, we're using Bondcrete as a sealer. 
um, to make sure that the ply becomes more waterproof uh, and eventually we'll be putting the flooring over this, the hybrid flooring. flooring done we can now get to putting the first of the three slides in. I bought this little yellow forklift and it made the job so much easier. Initially I thought we were going to be able to do it just by lifting it with a block and tackle and then Dee and I toiled for hours lifting bit by bit by bit and finally getting it up to near the height where it needed to be and then driving the ute as close as we could and then lining it up and then finally pushing and sliding it in to realize it was going to have to come back out to fit the last of the weather strips before going in again. And this was the smallest of the three slides. How on earth are we going to do this with the two bigger slides? So I ended up getting this forklift for way under $1,000 and it was so worth it. We were able to get it to the exact height that we needed to so easily and then just simply push it in. And there you go, our first slide's in. Yo! So good. Months and months of planning and it fits to the millimeter. The slide out goes just in there and it is perfect. Ah. Oh. Stoked. So after putting the floor down in the bedroom the day before yesterday, we've also fitted our first slide. So that's all ready to go. Mechanically, it's not plugged in yet, electrically rather. And I've been working on painting the underbelly of the bus. So you got rid of the crazy pink color and did all the cross members in a a primer and I've just done the first coat with a roller so I've got to go over and touch touch up so that's the color of that and we've got the floor down in the bedroom and now I must admit I'm feeling a bit anxious about this all right here we go Any daylight. <laughs> She's all sealed up. Oh, it looks fantastic. All right, let's get out and have a look outside. You beauty! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's awesome. That's spot on. Oh yeah, happy with that. Whew. Well, that's the culmination of, uh, well, months and months of planning and, I don't know, three weeks I think it took me all up uh, to build the thing and skin it and fit it. 
uh, three weeks of work, but over probably about six or seven weeks uh, while I'm doing other things as well. But look at that, that's great. So nice tight seal up there. And we knew there'd be a gap there and it doesn't matter, it doesn't, uh, doesn't have to be tight, but we've got a, a variation in the depth through there. So I knew that'd be a gap, but look at the shape of it, it's perfect. Fantastic. Brilliant. Just the two side windows to fit now into the slide and the entire box is completely waterproof. These windows open within themselves up and down rather than pivoting out like the other ones so that of course they don't impede the operation of the slide. One slide down, two to go! <laughs> Kitchen slide in. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Mum. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Dad. Go, go, go. That's your car. Go that. Go, go, go that way now. I love work. I could watch it all day. <laughs> Just wired up the big slide behind me here for the first time and I'm about to give it a go and I've got to say I'm feeling really anxious about it it is a big slide despite um, Lippet who make the system telling me that uh, it will handle it it's so much bigger than <laughs> the one at the back that I've already done and uh, I just feeling a bit anxious about it so putting some good energy towards it being flawless We'll give it a go, hey? And coming out!
slides in, the slides are in, all of them, and I've just put a, a chair here and sat in it for the first time and looked at how, how big the space is. It is huge. It's um, pretty emotional. Um, this, this project, uh, although it's not finished yet, uh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Um, the hardest thing um, has been the externals, everything outside, and in particular the slide outs. And this morning, having put a slide, the last slide in, and pushed it out all the way, and to sit back and look at what it's going to be like finished now, like you can you can see the space you've got to work with. Um, Okay, a lounge here, and dinette there, the kitchen there. Island bench in the kitchen. Who ever heard of an island bench in a motorhome? Uh, this thing is just epic. And um, it's, it's come at uh, varying costs. You know, the, the time, the, the stress, the, um, the relationships. You know, Dee and I are just, um, at times just absolutely stretched to breaking point and um, it's been hard, it's been real hard. It's um, so much longer and bigger a project than either of us had imagined and it's been tough, it's been tough. So now getting to this stage, can start fitting it out inside this is, this is where it really starts to come together. I'm so excited, <laughs> I can't tell you. So excited for this. <sighs> Dee will be here short soon, she's out. So um, she'll have a look and I <sighs> can't wait to show her. <laughs> He's here! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Supplies! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> nice hair! <laughs> Step in! What? <laughs> oh wow! Holy wow. Oh my goodness. How good is it? Oh my gosh. It's better than I thought. <sighs> this is bigger than any house we've lived in, any room. <laughs> lived in for the last three years. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> My gosh. 
This is, yeah, I just never imagined that there'd be this much. Well, of course, when it's pulled in, there won't be. But, oh my. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> hmm. I guess this is what dreams are made of, hey? Yep. The dream we... Hey? Our dreams. Yeah, the dream we set in motion. Uh, just over a year ago now. Yeah. I think she likes it. <laughs> well, that will definitely do us for a very overdue episode. Thanks for your patience, as we've been concentrating on building much more than creating content. We will be back, though, and continue sharing our build. Join us next time as we continue making good progress, installing the solar, plumbing, cabinetry, insulation, and heaps more. And, for the first time ever, in a roadworthy but very much unfinished motorhome, we take our first mini trip. And Dee even has a first drive. Thanks again for following. See you next time. <laughs> okay, look for a park, hun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my.